Hi, I'm Dr. Patrice Perry and I want to tell you a story. It's a story about story and why I do this every day. At the beginning of the pandemic, I asked myself two questions. What do I know and what does my community need? I wanted to serve from my own authentic voice and I wanted to respond to the actual needs that were there. And it was amazing because so many things showed up. But immediately I began to hear from people who were lonely and despair and actually at the end of their rope. There were five or six of them, actually five and then a sixth joined. And so I was speaking to them. I started recording messages for them and then I was looking for like five ways to do this or ways to do that. And then I realized that the easiest, most effective, most powerful way to communicate was just from my own stories, my own voice. This served two functions. One, I got to leave the legacy that I wanted to leave because a legacy is not what you leave when you die, it's what you leave when you leave the room. And so at the same time, I was enabling others to find the point in the story where they connected and open up and find those places. Those stories gave way to not only those six folks who were looking for a lifeline, but millions of people started listening, which is amazing. I started recording them every day because they were required every day. I record them up close because I have severe asthma in the morning, my voice is very soft and so holding it closer gave better sound. Um, I started doing them early because so many people from healthcare said that they listened before their early shift. And so the hour of these being posted was to give them something to hold on to throughout the day. And I continued because so many of you have joined in and said, I've just found you. And, oh my God, I need this. Please don't quit. I have no intentions of quitting. <laughs> The story begets story, and it opens up the story in you. Listen to the story that comes up in you. What questions come up? What answers are revealed? What do you know, and what does your community need? Who needs you early in the morning, and who needs you late at night? When your voice gives way, are you willing to look closely into the eyes of someone else? Oh, I love you. And I love what this story every day has brought forth in me. I know for certain that when you tell a better story, you live a better life. We've had story cons. We've got a story group. I'll be presenting at a retreat at the Art of Living retreat in October, October 7th through the 9th. So there's so many things that have come from this. And I love it. It's now a part of my devotion, a part of my ministry, a part of my prayer. I thank you so much for listening to these stories, either every day or some days or when somebody sends it to you. I thank you for sharing these stories and I thank you for listening to the story of your own heart. I love you.